Reep. So today, uh, why hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. I want to go ahead and bring you guys uh, the Death's Oath character kind of in low level maps. Unfortunately, I had a really silly death that could have been avoided, but you know what happens when you go in. Sometimes you don't read a box and you die to a uh, uh, very difficult mechanic cap up. But anyway, I want to go ahead and run a quick uh, Toxic Sewer map because we literally just got the build up and running and unfortunately I ripped on it. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Um, do I even have a hideout here or a thing? Let's see. Uh, M. Hideout. How do you get your Zana portal thing? Here, let's just go over here and run it. Do, 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 Actually, I'll keep this text up for you guys. So this character is level 80 right now. Um... And it's actually, it's cruising really well, like actually significantly better than I thought it was going to do. And let me just jump in and show you guys. So here's our Toxic Sewer. Going to go ahead and start the map. Now, before I start this, I do want to state that I actually am not using Spreading Rot Jewels at all. Uh, I thought I would have to use them for single target and even just clearing in general, but it was not Still necessary. Sane, actually, I'm not saying I just died. Also, I am not using Abyssal Cry at all. Oh, here's a Breach. Perfect. And this is with a 5-link Death's Oath, because I don't have the last link yet. I feel when your Wither doesn't want to target the same monster as you. Come on, Wither. There we go. Oh, that's a bit big. And that's pretty much how we map clear. Uh, so like I said, I was really enjoying the character. I'm really sad that I ripped in such a silly way. Uh, the character was pretty much just getting started. So let me go ahead and explain to you guys what I've got on the character. So I decided to use a Breath of the Council, uh, gives great chaos damage, gives great area, uh, which is good for Blight, which is good for your Blasphemy effect, Curses, which is good for your Death's Oath in general, and the Chaos skill effect duration is good for your Blight. Uh, Death's Oath, obviously, the colors you would like ideally would be green, green, blue, 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 um, and then red. So I'm currently using Arcane Surge, Efficacy, Conk effect, Swift Affliction, Lesteration, I was using Ink AoE for open maps, Conk Effect for places like sewers that you saw, and the last link that you would use right here is Void Manipulation. You can't really play around too much with the links. If you guys want to do something else, it's pretty much up to you. This is what I found to be the best for it. I'm just using a basic Energy Shield Helmet, nothing crazy. Uh, Discipline, Rallying Cry, that doesn't do anything. Uh, here's my shield. It's just a 260 ES shield with some resistance. I've got Quality Blasphemy with quality despair, uh, which is the reason why I run it over a witch fire so you can get more damage out of it. Um, and then temporal chains. In my boots, I have increased duration, vol discipline, phase run, and then right here would technically be uh, vol grace. And then in the gloves, which you use alepathy, I've got efficacy, void manipulation, swift affliction, and control destruction. Um, you can play around with the links here. This is what I found to be the best. Now, personally, the reason why you want to use Alepathy is it adds a huge amount of single target to your build. And if you need more single target, you can use the Spreading Rot Jewels. And you can also decide to path over and pick up like Potency of Will. 
Um, my rings and accessories, nothing really too expensive, just life, well not life, sorry, energy shield and uh, resistances. Now, what I'd recommend is having a prefix open to Leocraft for faster start of energy shield recovery. Um, I didn't actually get to craft that I don't have a Leo in my current, like, thing, so that's why. And to show you guys the pathing, this is what we have with our character. Uh, it's very important to pick up jewels. You really want to grab, like, energy shield and increased damage if killed recently. Um, and or damage over time while holding a shield. The jewels are probably going to be, like, 5 to 10 chaos each because of, like, the low life RF surge. I ended up not grabbing any of this because it wasn't really necessary. And then the remaining points would just be filling in energy shield. You've got ES here, you've got ES here, you've got three points of energy shield here, an energy shield point here, uh, more energy shield here. So expect yourself to be over 8k uh, by level 90, which I think is pretty solid. Remember that the majority of your defensive mechanics come from like Temporal Chains, Blasphemy, uh, and Wicked Ward, which is located right here. Now, while you're actually mapping, if you finish your Uber Lab, I'd recommend a Vile Bastion. Vile Bastion is super good because of the energy shield recharge uh, per second, and also helps you with stun immunity. So when you're running through constantly killing stuff, this is always on you. You could alternately like opt out and get that despair amulet that everybody is like going crazy over, and then you can grab Malediction and run something like Enfeeble. I personally would just stick with Vile Bastion. But that is pretty much everything with the character. Um, there's not really much to say. You could, I, I haven't really looked through like unique flasks to use. You can kind of just see the flasks that I'm using. It's just important to make sure that you have your immunities up 100% of the time. You could also grab Alchemist if you wanted to as well. And in terms of the points that I allocated, I went Void Beacon, Profane Bloom, Wicked Ward. You could go Profane Bloom, Void Beacon, Wicked Ward. It's really up to you. Um, and then I guess the last thing is your two socket belt if you decide to go the Darkness Enthroned. Is pretty solid because it will like essentially increase the effect of the socketed jewels so you can spend 10 chaos per jewel socket them in and you're good to go for a very long time and then bandits are kill all so that should pretty much cover everything anyway i hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves hopefully you can push this character uh kind of farther than i decided to push it uh, i think the character has some really good mapping potential and even for bossing uh, even though I, have, I don't really have a design for bossing, but it should be okay just because of, like, the sustain you get from being CI. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.